In this video, we're going to look at Liberty this past season and some things that are empty. And all we're going to really look at is different thought processes that are empty and what the defense will do and different things that the offense can do to kind of counteract that. If these are videos that you guys kind of like, just looking at a certain formation, talking through what I've done in the past or things that I've seen defenses do and things like that, just let me know if we can do more like this. But right here with this first look, you can see it's pretty obvious. One of the things that a lot of defenses will do, they'll say, hey, we're going to blitz you to get you out of empty. We're going to hit your quarterback, and we're going to make you get a back back there to get you out of empty. So we're just going to keep hitting the quarterback, and if you're going to throw the ball, all that stuff, we're just going to hit him every single time so that we'll be able to get you out of empty. And that's what Syracuse decides to do right here. In Liberty, they run fade out right here to the boundary. Two outs right there with a the fade on the outside. Ran this quite a bit in a lot of different ways, especially at an empty. A lot of good stuff right here. So right here, obviously they could bluff and they could drop. One thing that'll show you that they're probably not bluffing is the way that the secondary is playing right here. These guys, a lot of times they'll move around, they'll stem, do, they'll do all these different things. But the secondary, a lot of times is going to tell you exactly what's going on. So the way that I know these guys are not going to stem, they're not going to drop, is they're sitting there staring at all these guys. Now obviously some of them are peeking, all that stuff, whatever. It's not really a big deal. Just look around. The majority of those guys are they're looking at those receivers, so it's one of those things that the majority of them are probably going to tell you exactly what's going on. And that's what happens right here. So right there, as you can see, six-man blitz, only have five to protect. Good job here by Liberty of taking the guys over here to the left of the quarterback, the way the quarterback's looking. He knows that this guy right here is going to be free. They do bring that six-man blitz. He's looking down here trying to throw this fade out. And right here, if you have time, ball. Right there, ball should be out. Right there, you've seen, obviously, there's pressure. And another thing you got to do right there, if you're bringing six against empty, especially an athletic quarterback like Malik Willis, if you don't make that play right there, which they don't, now he's out in the free with really no contain, and those guys are running in man-to-man, -man, and now you're getting a guy free. So, again, it just opens up space. Obviously, they want to bring that guy. That's fine. You better hit home. You better make the play, and they weren't quite able to do that right here. Malik Willis makes him pay. And gets a pretty explosive play here against Syracuse. We'll run it back so we can see all the routes that are that are taking place right here. And again, if you're looking up top, you're just getting two speed outs. You're getting a fade right there on the outside. Boom. Stick. Both of them stick at the same time. Rolling that direction. Obviously, there's a ton of space there. A ton of space here as well. Something that might be a little bit easier if you feel like these guys are bringing six man. Obviously, they have a chance to drop, but you might get somewhere you got a slant. Maybe some kind of a vertical read, something like that. And maybe check to a screen. If you feel like there's a chance right here for the blitz, checking for, to a screen, something like that. Maybe a tunnel screen or just a quick screen. Throw it out there to those guys. Get the ball out of your hand as a quarterback and let those guys play. You don't want to hold on that ball knowing that there's an unblocked defender that's got a chance to blitz right there. So something a little bit quicker, which obviously this fade out, you're hoping to get out. They just don't quite get to it right here. But you can see if they do have just a little bit more time, ball right there you could even turn this into maybe a two-step out something where it's a little bit shorter ball is coming out right about now it's out hitch something like that get the ball out don't take that hit here's something that i'm sure a lot of different teams have started to see and this is actually Campbell. they're trying to disguise their three high look they're just playing tampa these guys are down in the flats this is like something that these guys have seen on film they're ready for right here they're running a fade out right here they've got a bit of a seam right there hitch and on the outside right here they're running to go as well there are a few different clips Right here that we'll look at of this right here with that out fade right there you're getting a tampa look and it's pretty obvious right here this guy being at 17 18 yards pretty obvious there's something up right here he's starting to work there to the middle of the field and right there willis catches it his eyes go right there to that corner you notice he's getting an for right there his eyes stay inside so that kind of alerts to him that he's probably going to be a flat defender he can't see this guy just outside released great job obviously malik willis with the arm laser right there at about 14, 15 yards, puts it on him, lets him just make a play before the safety can make a play because he's so deep. Again, if you can catch him right there in that Tampa, you know that guy's playing over the top of everything. You got that out, fade, outside, release that. Really no hands, even push him to the sideline. Drill that thing through that window, good hole shot, probably put it on his body a little bit better is what they say, but good job right there going up making a play. And you can see here on the backside, here's the seam. You got a hitch, you got to go right there. Obviously, if you really kind of like that side as far as the numbers, maybe you're getting a blitz, something like that, that'd be good for a possible hot there. But seeing that Tampa takes advantage of it right there with that whole shot and a big completion. Same play here for Liberty against Old Dominion. Again, fade out. You got this seam right here. You got a hitch. You got to go on the outside. So really what you're seeing from Old Dominion, 
obvious that these four guys are going to be the ones rushing. Whenever you see something like this, these guys are so deep. Whenever you're in empty, these guys have to get out of the box or you're going to have somebody uncovered or it's going to be a one high look. So right here, those four are going to be the ones rushing. A lot of times whenever that's the look, they're going to get some kind of a twist and that's what they do here. For Old Dominion, you can see right there, you're getting an end, you're going to be the penetrator and then you've got the inside defender is going to be the loopers. One thing you all, you're going to see here a lot out of empty is you're going to get twist here as they hope to take care of the quarterback run game when these guys twist and do all that stuff. Also, any kind of twist, those guys definitely say, hey, maybe we can pop. But the real thing is we want to contain, especially somebody like Malik Willis. You don't want to let him get out of the pocket right there out of empty because there's so much space. Again, what you're seeing, if you're just looking at the numbers, you've got four over three, you've got three over two over here. The box is plus that twist. They're hoping that they can negate that negativity right there. But anyway, if you look right here, Malik Willis, as he catches it, he looks down here to the fade out. This defender, instead of the last clip, he's down flat and he's eyeballing number two receiver. He's backing up, his eyes are on one. So right there, pretty obvious. This backer right here, which is what's great about empty, they have to substitute in or those backers right there, especially this guy right there, that's the mic, is not used to playing outside the box. So right there, he's just kind of backing up, not really guarding anybody. As soon as he sticks right there, goes to the out. That ball's out right there. A little bit late there by Malik Willis, but that arm, put his arm before he gets to the sideline. Good job here by the receiver. Tight turn right there, get down the sideline, staying in bounds. Getting about another five or six after catching the ball on that. So what would happen? Maybe he presses out right there. He may have a chance to shake, go to the middle of the field right there. Hopefully one-on-one with that mic is probably what they're thinking if he wouldn't have won. But right there, they like it. So they end up taking it right there. Gets the completion on second 12, gets up close to the first down. But this look right here, Liberty's running a very similar play again. Fade out, we got a couple outs right here. You got to fade out on the outside. So what's really interesting right here is the way the MTSU decide they want to play empty. Five-man box right here. The thing about it, whenever you have a five-man box against empty, there are two different things that you have to kind of have in, in the back of your mind. So these guys right here, you're either going to have the numbers as far as somebody's going to be uncovered with a five-man box, or it's going to be a one-high look. So right here, one-high look, only two coverages they can play, cover one, cover three. So right here, pretty obvious they're probably going to play some kind of a cover one. These guys might even be playing a little bit of zero since that safety is so far over to that hash. And these guys are just kind of funneling you know, those guys in maybe a little bit of a stubby type look, funneling him to that safety. So some sort of a one high look, and that's what they have right here. These guys are funneling. There's the safety right there standing over there. We're one-on-one -on -one over here. Good job by Malik seeing what's going on. Five-man box. Again, they're twisting up front, trying to keep that quarterback run game in check. He looks like he's spying there as well. Obviously, Malik Willis, Willis being a really good athlete, able to run stuff. So right there. Plays off, throw it right there to your guy. Again, with that reception, you're one-on-one -on -one with a third of the field and one of your better players making a guy miss, getting up close to the first down right there. So just think about that thought process whenever you walk up to it right there. It's a five-man box. Is anybody uncovered? No, nobody's uncovered. So it's only a one-high look. Right here, they play some kind of a stubby. It's really one-high. Playing a little bit of zone over here, basically playing zero over here. And if you're looking at the numbers, you're minus one to the three super side over here. You're neutral, you're two on two, so we want to take that side right there. They take it with the fade out. Another interesting look here, this time against Army. So right here, what's interesting about it is they give a little bit of a bluff here. They got this guy down to the short side of the field. He ends up dropping. They still run the fade out over here. They're running a seam, running a hitch. Out uh, here, they run a hitch on the outside as well this time. So what they end up doing, they show blitz, and we'll play it. You can see he's dropping, all right? Now they blitz this outside back from this side. If you're, if you're big into the five-man protection right here, you can probably get pretty good at this if you just kind of dabble it and run a little bit. Probably not even get as good. And you just leave that guy because what you say is, hey, we're going to take four down plus the mic. Leave that guy know he's hot right here. So if he blitzes and we know that he's hot, all right, boom, right there. Malik Willis, his eyes actually go over here. If we know he's hot, we got to replace him with the football ball now. All right, balls it should be out right there. He doesn't have it out. All right, so right here now he's got to make this guy miss, and that's what he's able to do right there. Again, that's the reason why he's going to be an NFL quarterback. He's able to make that guy miss. And then he keeps playing right here. And he does end up hitting that guy as he keeps working back that way uh, on a scramble. So, again, amazing throw right there. Don't quite get the completion, but you can see where he's working. Uh, but if we go back to this protection one more time. So, if you work this a ton and you're saying, hey, we're going to take the five most dangerous guys. So, you're on, you're on the five, five man pro and you work this a lot. A lot of times I understand if you're a six man pro team, you know, you full slide, whatever it is, you may not work this a ton, but if you're going five most dangerous, I'd say these five, so those four and him would be the most dangerous because he's so deep. Even if he comes from depth, 
Hopefully the quarterbacks either, either got the ball out or able to make a miss. But right here, it looks like they're not playing that way. They're not going to go five most dangerous. They're actually going four down to the mic is what it looks like. So a little bit overset here by the right tackle as well. But you can see these guys are sliding. They kind of got their eyes on, on that mic. So if we're hot here from the guy that blitzes, that ball should be out. If we're not, the other thing right here from the defense, you can see what they're doing. They're rolling that direction, playing a little bit of a Tampa uh, or a trap here. He's run to the flats. What should really happen when he blitzes is he should slide that way hot to number three, knowing that if they are hot and they see that, they'll be throwing the football. But right here, he drifts that direction, should be replacing the blitz with his coverage, which they don't do right there. So they get pretty lucky there. Army does, and they're not able to really cover him up, but Liberty's not able to take advantage of it right there with the uncovered receiver there at number three. But if you watch this game against Army, it's just kind of one of those days where not a whole lot of stuff went right for Liberty. But... Anyway, you can see a few different things that were pretty interesting right there. That bluff right there from Army. He's down low, bringing it from the other side. And good job right there, getting our eyes to the hop but not getting it out. Another look here against MTSU at an empty, and it's a combination of a few different routes that a lot of teams like to do, especially over here to this side. I think we did a video pretty recently on this, and Mike Leach and those guys running something very similar. You got a couple square ends, you got a corner right there. So a three receiver snag over here to the three receiver side. So again, with MTSU, if there's a five man box, there are two different things that can happen. You're gonna get too high. If there's too high, there's an uncovered receiver. Where's the uncovered receiver? Right here, all right, to the slot over there, to the short side of the field. So if you really like it, you can throw a hitch, you can throw a bubble, you can throw the screen out there to that guy, let him go block. You can do a lot of different things to get him the ball to make them cover him up and get him out of the box. All right, but right here, they're gonna sit in that five man box, probably gonna twist, all right, right there up front. You can see kind of a late twist. This Mike's kind of stepping in. He's he's the spy right there. Obviously, Malik Willis, they want to try to keep a body on him. Uh, but right there, another thing about it, if you leave that guy uncovered, is you're getting a free release on that safety, okay? And right here, as you play it, you can see the quarterback. He catches it. His eyes go here. He knows that with that corner, as long as this safety hangs, he feels good about coming over here to the back side. And what they end up running is a cop route, corner post. So he goes here, corner, sticks it across his face to the post you want you want to stick it maybe show your ear hole bend show your head that direction then break across his face do not go over the top go across his face so right there willis looks to the right all right now he knows that he's about to go corner post you see right there sticks he's going to the corner he's leaning that way a little bit once his hips get open you can see once his hips get open hips are open now put that foot in the ground go across his face and that's what they do right there again really good football Puts it right on his face right there for a big touchdown against MTSU to kind of start the game. So, again, a lot of stuff going on here. Five-man box, too high, somebody's uncovered. All right, somebody's uncovered. And that means a few things. You can either throw them the ball, you can free release on, on the safety and get a double move, all that stuff, and that's what they do right here. Uh, obviously, some kind of a smash to hold that safety. Corner post back across his face. Stick it, show your hole. Once his hips open, now go across his face. He's either got to open his hips again, or he center field turns like he does right here. And now there's a ton of space and big completion right there. Again, explosive playing touchdown for Liberty. Here's another look. I'm not exactly sure if this is a concept or not, but it's something that a lot of teams have done. I've done in the past, and we'll probably can do it in the future. Is basically you just run four verticals. So right here, these guys are running four verticals. The down distance is third and 17. These guys are running verticals. This guy, whoever it is, you just make him the check down guy. You can change who's the check down guy and how you run these verticals. And right here, if you're looking at just kind of a typical four vertical read, if you're a quarterback, all that stuff, you're gonna go to the single, make sure it's two on one. You have this under, he's just basically the check down. There's two, if it's all jumbled up, you feel like these guys are getting depth, you always got the chance to flip it down here to the check down that's probably working in the middle of the field. And right here, you see ball's caught. Really nothing going on up front. They got three down. They're dropping pretty deep. Again, it's third and 17, so they're playing back. They're trying not uh, to give up a big, big play, come up and tackle. Uh, but right there, you can see south side backers got a big piece of this guy trying to get across the field. Here's that under from the check down. You can see as soon as the ball snapped, Willis's eyes go right there to the single, and he gets off of it. You see this guy's getting all jumbled up. Everybody's getting depth. Checks it down right there. Uh, again, one of their better players checking it down, and he's able to make something happen right here. You got those guys going vertical. Ends up getting a first down on that third and 17. Again, you can do this a lot of different ways, and we'll see a few different ways they did this past year, just running verticals, and then you kind of change up who that check down guy is and who's working underneath. So here's another third down, third and 12 here. Again, UAB, so it's the same call here that they had the last time. Again, going four verticals. 
these guys going vertical right there you got the under here from that guy so again your first look a lot of times in trips where you're going for verticals is that single if you like it which right there he's got to step on them take that shot right here they're not able to connect on it but they took that shot right there and empty and you can see uab the way they try to defend it they ended up bringing five so right here with him bringing that extra edge defender he's coming down one high look and right there you got a press guy on a vertical uh, with a one high look so take that when you can again you can see these guys running verticals there's the under with that five man pressure you're getting a little bit of a twist interior twist right there and it looks like they're getting a lot of pressure up the middle could obviously check that thing down but all right there if you see that i like that space take that shot give your guy opportunity right there because anytime you just give an opportunity they got a chance to make a call uh, as far as pass interference and stuff like that as well uh, but when that ball is not that not even close to them it's kind of hard to make that call but you can see what what uab was doing they're trying to roll down to one high look trying to get everything sped up a little bit still could have thrown this under uh, but like that one-on-one -on -one with the press corner on the outside here's another look of the uh, four verticals here they've actually got three to the boundary two to the field which is a good change up on your empty formations getting the two receivers over there getting the three to the boundary see how they adjust that so what they end up doing is they run four verticals all right but they do it a little bit differently so they're running four verticals just like that here's your check down guy there on the outside instead of running towards the middle he just basically runs a hitch and right here as this is played you can see what mtsu is doing right here they're i think a little bit late to get lined up all right right here you can see 32 seconds first and 10. all right so they're a little late to get lined up i don't think they're aligned right they're bringing some pressure here bringing a six-man pressure they're actually getting held up with the six-man pressure so it's not even a free hitter so just kind of sitting around which i think that's probably part of the tempo and they see these guys going vertical with that quick snap so they're just thinking hey let's not get beat deep all right first and 10 malik kind of forces this thing down the middle of the field and you can look out here that check down is wide open all right a lot of times whenever you go on tempo different things like that people kind of get lost and stop and forget who's the flat defender uh, and they don't want just want to get beat deep so they back up and that's where the ball should probably go right there especially on a first and 10 take that completion right here forces it the two people and here's a good look of it right here again you got that safety there there's another safety kind of converging there malik just slides a little bit the freak that he is he just flips that thing out there and able to get that completion in between two guys uh, but again we all know the coach is probably saying hey just check it down out there to the flats take your easy completion and especially on a first and ten right there just take what's easy they're able to create an explosive play there uh, against mtsu